Welcome to the world of wonder. We are here with Maverick Neely. How are you, dude? Good to I'm see you. you. Um, actually, I'm excited for today because this is kind of your first look at Paradigm. You've hit a few balls this morning. You've kind of got used to the driver, but what I always like to do, if we have the opportunity to do it, is to hit all three heads so that you and the people at home can see the difference between Paradigm, Paradigm X, and Triple Diamonds. We're gonna have you hit about, I don't know, four or five with each head and just walk me through what you're seeing, what you like. So I know you've kind of taken a, taken a shine to that one, the, the Paradigm Standard. So uh, we have GC Quad, Foresight, and uh, let's hit some balls, man. Sounds good, yeah. I put this one down. First thing I look at is the top line. Um, it looks very square to me. Mm -hmm. I get really uncomfortable if that driver doesn't sit square. So it looks square. It's definitely a shallower uh, face from top to bottom feels like it's a slightly bigger head profile. Feels pretty good, Let's see what it does. Okay, that was solid. Tiny bit off the heel. Okay, so this is where this drivers get really cool though, in my opinion, and I don't know, like for a heel strike for you, you're used to seeing 27, 2800 feet off the heel, so that's that, spun yeah. at just under 20, uh, basically 25 and a half. Mm -hmm. Ball speed's still pretty solid. You know, you're up in the high 170s, low 180s when you're tuned up, but out of the heel, that's still pretty good. So uh, let's hit another one here. I'll let you tee it up. So stock shot for you, because you, you tend to tee it down a little bit lower. You're not one of those tee it high and hit way up on it no, kind of I, players. I, so. I mean, I, I changed the height that I hit my driver a lot. So okay. um, I hit this fairway finder a lot. I'll tee it down even lower than that, okay. a little left. And you play with a, you play with you know a perfect amount of loft. You play with ten and a half, eleven degrees typically. Yeah, this is yeah. a this is a ten five. Got it on n minus one, so okay. nine and a half. Um, I like how the shallower club head lets me tee that ball low and feel like I can get down to it. Okay. See once so, again, one seventy three ball speed. Launched that one under six degrees, but spun at 2400 again so. so it's got plenty of spin to keep it in the air even though that's really low launch yeah but that is your that's a shot that's a, a whole specific type shot that's not really a stock shot it's you know colonial yeah, i mean one no. of those tighter golf courses I'll show you the opposite hit this one high i mean okay i think it's a testament i like this driver a lot i kind of want to take this one home with me <laughs> um this one i mean especially too with the slider in the back i've yeah. loved all the drivers we've made with sliders in the back because you can just you know minutely dial it into exactly how you want it right I'd probably throw one or two more grams low and forward on this one. Just to get the launch up a little quicker? Launch okay. up a little bit, spin down just a hair, probably yep. carry a little further, but I'll hit this one high. Okay. I have to carry a bunker or something. One seventy four through one twenty seven hundred spin at sixteen launch. So this is the yeah. cool thing. I mean you went you went up eleven degrees in launch. Yeah. Which is that's a lot. And that's this shallower head helps you do that because right. you've got a little more room to get under it. Um, get under it. Okay, do me a favor, hit one more stock shot. So maybe just a stock straight one. Grab I don't a have a, do you have a tee? Got some tees. I got one right here. Because the next the next driver head we hit, which would be Paradigm X, you know the assumption is that it's gonna the spin's gonna go up quite a bit. Yeah. I mean this one this one feels really neutral to me. Um, okay. I mean this feels like a driver I'd put in and go play with tomorrow. Right. So. I'll just hit, I'll hit a normal one to see what it does. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's pretty solid. Yeah. 173, I mean, to those, see those are, to me those are, like if those are the numbers that you got, granted yeah. you're, you know, it's a little colder, so the ball speed is- Is low. A little bit lower. And that's 2,500 yeah. at 10 launch. Like you're, Perfect. you're that's loving life if you stay there. Okay, so now we're gonna swap the heads out. So let's peel this one out. You wanna probably hold on to this head. Mm -hmm. Cause that seems to be one that you like. There you go. Okay, so we're going to start this one, N minus one. So this is Paradigm X. So the difference between this one and that one, no sliding weight in the back. Uh, this one has a little bit more weight going backwards. Of the three drivers that we offer, it's the most draw biased, but it's not draw biased. So there's a little bit of weight towards the, uh, towards the heel, but not enough to make it like a draw biased driver. Okay. I noticed first thing, uh, there's a Chevron on the top. Yep. There's definitely more, I guess, width to this driver yep. head from front to back. Yep. Looks like it sits a little more upright, and that face sits a hair more shut. Um, Which is where that where that draw bias look kind of comes from. It really does. Yeah. And, um, 
got a weight in the back. What, what happens when there's weight in the back for me, I feel like you get a little bit more kick and a little bit more feel, which mm -hmm. I guess would also uh, help with the draw bias. Let's see what this does. Oh, yep, well, that's, it, it, that's that what, literally what it's supposed to do. It was hammered, but it drew. It was hammered. <laughs> Let's get another one. I don't know if it picked that one up. 13.4, yeah, it did. 13.4, 2,300 spin. Okay, 23, 40, 49 ball speed, 173, launch at 13. But that's actually not terrible for as much as that ball turned over, 2300's not, uh, not the worst number in the world at 13 launch. No, if I was, if I was swinging, swinging left, this would come out nice. Yeah, it's that's really solid. Good. It's just turning a lot. Turning over. Which yeah, for your 13, eyeballs, 4, 26. you kind of like that straight that kind of falls right shot and be able to turn it over a little bit if you need to. So 2,500. So hit one more with that. And then we're going to go to the, the triple diamond. And this is where it's going to get interesting, I think, as compared to the driver that you have that you really like, your gamer. Yeah. Well, you're a machine. That was hammered. I mean, just hitting the center. 2400, 2465, 172, 304 carry at 14 launch. So you're, I mean, if you're going to hit one shot all day long, if you're just going to hit a little soft draw, then that's your... If I could call this one in for dog leg left, it'd be... Yeah, like 13 in Augusta or something like that. You want to, especially the new Augusta. Okay. Right so, triple diamond. Thank you. And so the triple diamond shape for you is, you know, what, is it, what does it say to you? Like, where, where do you sit with it? It looks smaller. Okay. Um, definitely smaller. It looks a little bit more like half of a heart shape. Right. So that toe bulges up and it's a little, little tighter on the inside. I like the look a lot. Okay. I see a little bit more bulge and roll on the leading edge. Okay. Face sits really square, even maybe a touch open. I okay. actually really like that. Uh, I've got a weight forward and a weight back. Honestly, it feels like this driver is going to come out really hot. That was mashed. A little lower spin, I think. <laughs> 174, 320 yeah. carry at 1800, you launched at 1300. I mean, if you could do that every time, yeah. that's not, those aren't terrible numbers. Spin's a little bit lower than you want it to much be. Much lower but... spin than the other one. So maybe let's try, uh, I'd like to see that driver maybe with that one that you tee up a little lower. Hit the just to see if you can hit that, what that shot looks like. Yeah, that's mashed too. Yeah, it's really good. It's just super it's low. It's not spin. enough spin. Yeah. Okay, let's do. Give me two more with this driver. This it tells an interesting story though, Mav. It's like. So the paradigm head, the one that you're really responding to. This is why getting fit is so important. Yep. Um, even for the tour players, like you hit it out of the middle a lot, but just because you hit it out of the middle of high speeds doesn't mean triple diamond is going to be the head for you. Like you know, you have a you have needs, right? You have spin needs and launch needs. And I've just switched to a stiffer shaft because I was kind of low 170s with the old shaft and now I'm low 180s when it gets warm out right. there and have some adrenaline going. So this is a stiffer shaft spinning less. So I think that combined with the lower spinning head is, is probably a little too much. And sure. The reason I have a hard time getting that standard out of my hands, I like that thing a lot. I was a little thin. I mean, that got the spin up. But yeah, I got the spin up. Okay, hit one more. Let's just go one stock and then we're gonna wrap this up. This has been interesting, actually really interesting. And for what it's worth, this driver sounds a little like higher pitched and, and, and firmer. Okay. I think the uh, the draw bias one, is that the X? Yeah. That one felt more hollow. And then the standard feels, I mean, that, that one feels like- That one favorite. feels the best. You really love that standard that one. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah. That was better. Yeah, I mean, but so look at it this way. This is why, like, once again, it goes back to fitting folks. Like, this is why this is so interesting. So that standard head is kind of tuned for you, and that's kind of why you've always leaned towards Rogue ST Max, yeah. Epic Speed. It's not necessarily a ball speed thing. It's the combination of ball speed, launch, spin. Exactly. Because out on tour, you have to be able to control it. you got to keep it in front of you, and, and you guys all hit it far enough anyway. And comfort when you look down at it. I mean, I, it's one thing to know on the range, but when you take it out on the golf course and then you're standing over a shot competition that really matters to you, that's when you learn a lot about the golf club. And so right. I, don't, I don't feel like I really understand what a club does until I'm in the heat of battle and I hit a shot with it and I'm, I'm looking down at it and 
you know, I really get those feelings and really get connected to the shot. And um, you know, that's kind of the, the truth for that's me. When you, that's when you kick in and the club's just got to be there for the ride, huh? Exactly. It's interesting stuff. Uh, if you have any questions on the paradigm line of uh, drivers, woods, irons, all that stuff, go to World of Wonder website, CallawayGolf.com. That's Matt McNeely. I'm Johnny Wonder. We're out of here.